What are some important aspects of training young birds in pigeon racing? Training young birds in pigeon racing involves several essential aspects. Firstly, they should be in their own compartment where they are beginning to learn social behavior with their fellow flock mates. Secondly, when feeding the birds, the trainer should whistle or call to them, which will help them associate the whistle with being fed. This helps to train them to come to the call, which is important for race day and getting spooked birds down. Next, the young birds should be let out for the first time once they are able to move around the loft and perch at higher levels. The trainer should create a Sputnik cage on top of the landing board to introduce them to the outside world and protect them from predators such as hawks. After a few days, the trainer can let them out on their own. Once the birds are trained to come back to the loft, the trainer can start letting them out on the roof without the Sputnik cage. They will stay on the roof as long as they are not too strong on the wing. Basket training is also an important aspect of training young birds. To start, the trainer should place the birds in the training crates and leave them alone for at least an hour to get used to the cramped quarters and the new environment. Finally, road training serves multiple purposes, including familiarizing the birds with their surrounding area and conditioning them. The trainer should begin road training by training them about 4 miles from the loft, give them at least 3 tosses where they fly straight home and not release them after they have eaten. Training young racing pigeons can be a challenging task, but with the right approach, it can be rewarding as well. Here are some tips that may help. Start with short distances. Young pigeons need to build up their stamina and endurance gradually. Start with short distances, such as 1 or 2 miles, and gradually increase the distance as they become more experienced. Establish a routine. Pigeons thrive on routine, so establish a regular feeding and training schedule. Consistency is key to developing good habits in your birds. Use positive reinforcement. Reward your birds with treats, praise, and affection when they complete a training session successfully. Positive reinforcement will encourage them to continue to work hard and perform well. Train in different weather conditions. Pigeon racing can take place in all kinds of weather, so it's important to train your birds in different conditions, such as rain, wind, and heat. This will help them adapt to changing conditions and perform better in races. If they get a bad training toss. If your young racing pigeons had a bad training toss, it's important to give them a rest and time to recover before attempting another training session. Here are some tips for giving your birds a break. Provide fresh water and food. Make sure your birds have access to clean water and fresh food during their rest period. This will help them recover more quickly and maintain their health. Keep them in a comfortable environment. It's important to keep your birds in a comfortable environment during their rest period. Make sure they have a clean and dry loft, with plenty of ventilation and natural light. Observe them closely. Keep an eye on your birds during their rest period to make sure they are not showing any signs of illness or injury. If you notice any problems, consult a veterinarian immediately. Gradually reintroduce training. When you're ready to start training your birds again, start with short and easy training tosses to help them regain their confidence and stamina. Gradually increase the distance and difficulty of the training tosses as your birds become more experienced. Remember, rest is an important part of a successful training program for young racing pigeons. Giving your birds the time and care they need to recover from a bad training toss will help them become stronger and more resilient athletes in the long run. Monitor their health. Regular health checks are essential to ensure your birds are fit and healthy. Look out for signs of illness, such as lethargy, loss of appetite, and unusual behavior, and take action if you notice any problems. Join a club or find a mentor. Joining a pigeon racing club or finding a mentor who has experience in the sport can be incredibly helpful. They can provide advice and support, as well as help you connect with other enthusiasts. Remember, training racing pigeons takes time, patience, and dedication. But with the right approach, you can develop a strong bond with your birds and achieve success in the racing world. Gradually increase the distance, start training your young pigeons by releasing them a short distance from their loft. Gradually increase the distance over time so that they become accustomed to flying longer distances. Use a dummy bird. Using a dummy bird can be helpful when training young racing pigeons. This is a bird that has been trained to fly back to the loft and can be released with the young birds to encourage them to fly back as well. Train in good weather conditions. Train your young pigeons in good weather conditions so that they can build up their stamina without being hindered by harsh weather. Use a consistent routine. Establish a consistent routine for training your young birds, such as releasing them at the same time of day, using the same training routes, and following the same post-release procedures. Watch for signs of fatigue. Be sure to watch your young birds for signs of fatigue during training, such as slowing down or flying lower than usual. If you notice any of these signs, give your birds a break and bring them back to the loft. Monitor their health. Keep a close eye on the health of your young birds during training, 
looking for signs of illness or injury. If you notice anything concerning, seek veterinary care immediately. Be patient, remember that training young racing pigeons takes time and patience. Be consistent, persistent, and positive, and your birds will eventually become skilled racers. These are the points you have to remember. Gradual increase in distance, start by training your young pigeons over short distances, gradually increasing the distance as they become more experienced. This will help them build up their strength and endurance while minimizing the risk of injury. Use homing instinct, racing pigeons have a natural homing instinct, which can be used to your advantage during training. Gradually increase the distance between the loft and the release point to encourage the pigeons to return home. Train at regular intervals, consistent training is essential for the development of young racing pigeons. It is recommended to train them at least once a week, preferably on the same day and time. Use positive reinforcement, reward your pigeons with food or treats when they return home from a successful training toss. This will help them associate training with a positive experience and encourage them to perform better in the future. Monitor their health. Keep a close eye on your pigeons' health and well-being during training. If you notice any signs of illness or injury, give them a break from training and seek veterinary care if necessary. Be patient. Remember that training young racing pigeons takes time and patience. Don't push them too hard or expect them to perform perfectly right away. With consistent training and positive reinforcement, they will gradually improve and become better racers over time.